Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm great. Hey, that's good to hear. Did you have a great weekend? Yes. Yes. What did you do? Um, I rest in my home. Working. <laughs> Well, rest, whoever rested, that's the best weekend. Yes. <laughs> I envy you. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see where it's everybody. All right. So everybody had a good weekend. You rested, you worked. Did anybody party? Work, only work. That's good. All right. Let me see. Everybody's here. Well, hey, what happened Friday? What happened Friday to some people? I have a meeting the other and on Friday. You had a meeting? Yeah, on Friday. Okay. And your work? No, 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 but it's on on, on my other family and uh with uh shorts. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Karen, how are you? Laura, how are you? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Karen. How are you? How was your weekend? Hey, good evening, teacher. Um, my weekend has bad, has bad uh, because um, I had um, a, como se dice, un familiar fallecido. Oh, I'm sorry. A family member died. A family member died. Oh, man, yes. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Okay, class, give well, me one. Yeah, I imagine. Was it COVID? No. No. Uh, it's, um, because... Um, but well, for diabetes. Diabetes, okay. Yes. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Thank you, Jeff. Okay, um, all right, class, give me one second here. I'm looking. Let me see, let me open the platform. Okay, so I remember who was in the class Friday. Mister, I can see the video, but I remember use the modal verb show and and end. Yeah, that was Thursday, but Friday, I think only two people were in class or three. Oh, really? Yeah, it, but it was interesting because we did we did some um we did the simple future, the present progressive, simple past. We we we're, we're doing the tenses. Well, let's see, let's do let's, let's do the platform. Let me open this.
Okay, so remember last week. Oh, hold on, let me see. Let's 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 do the video so we can remember how to use and and but. Yes, teacher, I remember. All right, cool. Thank you. Hold on. Let me see. Let me share my screen. about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice, so please stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city, and the weather is nice. Look at and and but. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city is ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction BUT. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one, and it goes in the middle of a sentence, and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in a discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. Okay, so when do we use and? What do we connect? Connect the idea. And the ideas are positive or negative? Um, Both. Both, the two. The ideas can be positive and or negative. But. For example, um, that city is small and ugly. Negative. That city is big and beautiful. Positive. So and is just to connect. But if you're going to connect two negatives and two or two positives, but not one negative and one positive. Yes, let me see, let me see if we do one thing. Karen Sandoval, are you there? Uh, I don't understand, Peter. Uh, repeat, please. Do you understand and? Uh -huh. No, I not understand. Jacqueline, understand. Jacqueline, can you explain and to Karen, please? Mm. I think uh, and I think I just explained it one minute ago. It told the yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes and, and uh, connect the idea uh, uh, negative or positive. Good. And connects two ideas. Two negatives or two positives? Puede conectar dos ideas. Pero esas dos tienen que ser o negative or positive, but not one and one. Mm -hmm. 
So Garen, can you give me an example using and with um, Simang? Uh, um, Simang. Or, or any example, um, or, or I don't know, a pop out. No, I don't know. Just give me two, any example, but it could be two positives or two negatives. Simang, eh, eh, en Apopa no, eh, no tenemos un Simang. Okay. Pero es que no lo puedo formular en... There is no Simang en, in Apopa. Yes. Okay, describe a popa yes, for there me. There is not Simán in a popa. Okay, describe a popa, please. Uh, mm, I don't know, teacher. Please describe a popa. A popa is beautiful. A popa is ugly. A popa is hot. Describe a popa. Don't complicate. A popa. Is a popa is hot. Hot. It's hot. And but, um, no, no, no. And, and okay. A popa is hot and and lejos. And far. Far. And far. Okay. Good. And Perfect. Far. So a popa is hot and far. Good. Arely Cortez, give me an example. Give me using and with two positives. Two positives. Mm -hmm. My my class is no. My kids, my students, maybe. My students are smart and funny. Okay, very good. My student. Oh, that's a good teacher. My my students are smart and funny. It's like um, Scarlett Johansson. She's beautiful and intelligent. Um, okay, good. Maritza, can you please give me two negatives? Okay. Hmm. Uh, the today was very hot. And rainy. Very good. Yes, that's a perfect example. Today was hot and rainy. Good. So now we understand and, correct? Yes. And is to connect two ideas. The two ideas positive or the two ideas negative. Correct? No, maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's not talk. Entonces hagamos el ejercicio. Okay, Jacqueline, can you read number one, please? Yes, Chip. Thank you. Uh, tape is very nice. Taipei. Yeah. Excuse me? Taipei. Taipei, yes. Taipei is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. Um, Syria. Uh, the first teacher. Can you read it, please? Uh, tape is very nice. Taipei. And Taipei is very nice, and everyone is extremely friendly. Very good. Okay, number two, please. The water is oh, nice. No, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you pick the next person for number two? Oh. <laughs> Jacqueline, pick somebody for number two. Ah, um, Catherine Ramirez. Okay. Okay, um, the streets are crowded. It's crowded. easy to get. 
Crowded. 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 It easy to get around. And tote. These streets are crowded and Cr it's crowded. Easy, crowded and it's easy to get around. Oh, these streets are crowded. It's easy to get around too. Um, What is the correct? How do, you, uh, uh, how do you say crowded? Crowded. And in español, perdón. Crowded is people. Like the buses in San Salvador at seven in the morning. Crowded, many, 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 many people. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So what is correct, number one or two? Um, and the first? The streets are crowded. Do, do you understand when to use and? Yes. When do we use and? Um, those acciones positive or negative? Okay, so the streets are crowded. Is that negative or positive? Street, um, oh. Is that negative? Positive, or positive? Is positive and negative. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Um, two sería entonces. Yeah, number two. Because yes. the streets yes. are yes. crowded. No, no, it's okay. Good. The streets are crowded. That's negative. Uh -huh. And yes. it's easy to get around. That's positive. So, positive. Yes. Okay, very good. So number two. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, Catherine, please pick somebody for number three. Okay. Um, Isaac. Good evening. Good evening, Isaac. Can you do number three, please? The weather is nice. Summer get pretty hot. Number two. Can you read number two, please? The weather is nice and the summer is great. Is get, the summer get pretty hot. The weather is nice. And summers get pretty hot. Okay, thank you, Sack. Can you choose somebody for number three, please? Um, Arely Cortez. Okay, number four. Shopping. Oh yeah, number four, I said number five. I'm sorry, number four. Number four. Okay, shopping is great. You have to uh -oh, bargain, I think. Bargain. Bargain in the markets. The, I think that the answer is, I don't know what is bargain. Okay, imagine. Vendame su teléfono. Sell me your cell phone. Uh, it's like a regatear. No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, I think that the correct is the number one. Shopping is great, but you have to bargain in the markets. 
or I don't know. <laughs> no, but, no, because it's two isn't one positive thing and one negative, right? Uh huh. So it's the number two. Shopping is great and no. The number one. Shopping is great, but yes, we're gaining the markets. I would choose number one because but is to separate. But okay. is to unite one positive and one negative, or one negative and one positive. That's the only difference between and and but. And connects two positives or two negatives. But connects the positive and the negative. All right, Adelie, okay. choose somebody, please. Uh, let me check. I don't know, I think. Jenny Portillo. Jenny Marisol, I'm sorry. Jenny, hello. Uh, sorry, teacher. No, no I, worries. I, uh, yes. Okay, number five. Yes, please. Okay, the food is delicious. It's not too expensive and or bad. I think um, the second, the food is delicious and it, is it not too expensive? Good. All right. So this one was wrong. The weather is nice, positive. Summers get pretty hot, however. However, is let me mock a butt, but it goes at the end. Okay, let's see the next. Okay, here we're going to do can, should, to be introduced in the conversation. Let's do this. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. All right, did you see the modals? So yeah, it says. And go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. You should. You should. What is you should? Tu deberías. So it's like a recommendation, right? No, maybe. Yes. Okay, thank you. So you should is when you recommend somebody something. You should is when you recommend somebody something. Isaac. Adelie, are you there? Tell me, teacher. Yes, I'm here. Oh, okay, hold on. Excuse me then. Isaac. Um, Isaac, are you, Isaac, are you married? No, I am single. Oh, yes. You don't have a girlfriend? Huh? No, I don't. Okay, wait for me, uh, Isaac. Adelie? Adelie, are you married? Yes, I am. Okay, so Isaac, listen, tomorrow is Adelie's birthday. I'm sorry, tomorrow is Adelie's... Um, Wedding. No, um, oh. anniversary. What? Anniversary. 
Isaac, but she only has forty dollars. What should she buy? Mm. I shall. No, not you. What should she buy? Adele show uh, to buy. Okay, uh, she should buy. Como? Adele should buy, not to buy. No, Adele ah, should okay. buy. Should, should buy um, a little present by her husband. Yes, that's that's the problem, but the problem she only has $40. Okay. So what should she buy? Isaac. Isaac, you listen please. Okay. Tomorrow is Arely's anniversary. Do you understand? Sí. Yes. Yes. She only has forty dollars. Okay. Ella solo tiene. Yes. What should she buy? Obviamente un regalo. So please don't say she should buy a gift because yes. But what? I mean forty dollars. What? Una taza con chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> Dos pupusas. <laughs> okay. okay, somebody help Isaac, please, with forty dollars. Come on, Isaac. <laughs> Nadie tiene idea que puede comprar ella con cuarenta. What's wrong today, class? Um, um, the question is very what? basic. It's, she should buy a shirt. She should buy a watch. She should oh, buy chocolates. This is very basic. It's not difficult. No quiero que me una explicación. Ella debería pensarlo bien y debería de llamar y averiguar dónde están los restaurantes que aceptan el dos por uno. No, that's not. This is a conversation bien elevada. Es algo simple. Si tiene, ella debería comprar una camisa. She should buy, I don't know, a tie, a wallet. Es lo que quiero ir, pero no se queden. A... Come on, imagine, you need to practice. Okay. This, is, this is a conversation. Uh -huh. Yes, Jacqueline? She should buy a card. A car? And no, card. Card. Cartera, billetera. No, tarjeta. Ah. Gift card. Gift card. Oh, a gift card. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah, that's true. That's a that's perfect. A gift card. She buy a cup. A cap. Let me see. With $40, you could buy your husband a Barcelona t-shirt. Mm -hmm. With with a number 10. Or an Aguila. No, mejor que le compre una escoba y un trapeador. <laughs> <laughs> no por el 40 dólares es mucho mm -hmm. alright very good or she should invite her husband to a restaurant she oh, should God. invite her husband to the movies all right Ana Lopez, are you there? Um, the gift card. Ana Lopez, are you there? She should, should buy a gift card. Ana Lopez, are you there? You say yes, Ana Lopez. That's what happens when you're not paying attention. Mm -hmm. Ana Lopez, are you there? Uh, 
Mondays are ugly, huh? Es... Ana López está ahí. Yeah. Perdón, teacher. No, 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 it's okay. Yo le, di, yo le di la respuesta del de aquí. Sí, pero yo sé que no me estaba oyendo. No, no estaba poniendo atención sí, porque... No, no le pregunté eso. Le pregunté, Ana López, are you there? Yes, I am. No, I am not. No, no, it's okay. Okay, Ana López, please listen, okay? I have allergies. Allergies. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. What should I take? Mm -hmm. uh, you are short. Um, Laura Tadina. Okay, Ana López. Ana Lisa, oiga lo que me dijo. Me dijo... You are should Laura Tadina. Yes, take era. <laughs> very good, very good. It's no problem. Mm -hmm. So repeat. You are should. No, take. you are not. You should. Ah, you should. You should take Laura Tadina. Perfect. That's it. Perfect. Yes, very com don't yeah, don't complicate. You should take Laura Tadina. Very good. Karen Sandoval, are you there? Yes, teacher. Tomorrow is my wife's birthday. Yes. 10 years. Yeah, I, I am married for 10 years. What should I buy her? Mm. Don Pollo? Um, ya 10 años. <laughs> ya. When, ya le puedo comprar esa, la nevería o algo. Eh, ay, no, qué, qué malo. <laughs> eh, <laughs> mejor algo así, así como que este, más romántico. Pops. No. Así como que hay algunos, hay algunos así eh, restaurantes que no son tan lujosos, pero que son bien acogedores. Hay uno que está aquí por el Parque Cujatlán, está muy bonito. Ok, so you should take her. You should take her. Uh, to a nice eh, restaurant. To a nice restaurant. Ok, yeah. very good. So listen, you should take her. You should take her to a nice restaurant. To a nice restaurant. Yeah. My Parque Cuscatlán. Yes. Adelantito de ahí está uno que, eh, no sé, a mí me gusta bastante. Don Pedro. No, 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 es que no está para arriba, sino que como yendo para... Sierra Morena. Está, eh, ¿cómo explicarle? Wait, wait. Eh, Where is Sierra Morena? Es en Soyapango, ¿no? Eh, eh, no, no. Sierra Morena está ya cerca del, del estadio, es el, el, ¿cómo se llama? El estadio. Eh, Flor Blanca. No es el mágico. Sí. Oh, ok. Por ahí. Pero está mucho antes de todo eso. Pero sí es bonito ese lugar. Wow. No quisiera ser su motorista de Uber algún día. <ríe> Porque de Sierra Morena al Parque Cuscatlán, I was like, ok. What, what is, it, diría, sí. is it? Is it? Is it? Is it Chinese food? Eh, no. Ay, ¿Cómo explicarle mejor? No sé si. Eh, ay, 
cómo explicarle. Es que no, mire, así por nombres de calles no me los puedo, no me las puedo bien. Entonces, eh, si yo fuera en un Uber, le diría, ubíquese en el parque Cuscatlán y como a cuatro cuadras de ahí hacia, hacia arriba, yendo para el estadio, está por ahí. Ok. Pero sí se pasa por tierra. No, no, perdón, no es Sierra Morena, es este... Ay, ¿cómo se llama? Sobre la Juan Pablo. Eh, no, del otro lado. Oh, man, I'm confused. Ok. Sí, Le va a salir cara el Uber. Sexta décima. <risa> sexta décima, Let's Juan see. Pablo, la 25. Eh, no, por la sexta Sí, eso, la Montserrat. ¿El venado? Fíjese que el nombre no tiene el restaurante. I think es el venado. Queda en una colonia, ¿no? Sí, está en una esquina. Sí, yeah, es el venado. Pero es en vista hermosa, es no en, en, en Montserrat. Sí. Pero sí es, a mí me gusta bastante. I, li I live three blocks from El Venado. Yeah, it's a nice restaurant, but that's not Parque Cuscatlán. <laughs> ah, pues. <laughs> wow, okay. No, but thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, that's cool. Jenny. Okay. Yes, tell me. Ah. Uh, I don't know, Jenny. <laughs> Tell me, what should I do? Go my um, let me see. Okay. I I don't have COVID. Yeah. But I don't have my injections. Okay. Do you think I should take my injections? Uh, hmm. yes, uh, ejemplo, porque, no, ejemplo, yo ya tengo las tres, pero. Okay. Hey, what do you think? Um, you sure? Um, by um, you sure? Um, I don't know, but is uh, uh, but is it is difficult that you should, but um, what say? But I I I don't know, but is uh, uh you should the only put in one injection okay so but my question is so i should take the injections yeah okay tell me you should yes you should take the injections mm -hmm. you should take it injection okay thank you all right very good jacqueline Hi, teacher. Hello. Can you recommend? Can you recommend to me a good pizza restaurant? Please don't say Pizza Hut. ¿Cómo se llama la pizza a la que vamos? Pizza. Pizza Nova. No, no, no. Es una pizzería que está aquí en Antiguo en English. Ah, sorry. Uh, Mm. I think it's Pizza Nova. No, se llama Pizza. No. Eh, have other 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 name is. ¿Qué pizza? I I forget I forget. Okay, <laughs> okay. Please recommend to me a good Mexican food restaurant. La calaca. 
you should go to. You, okay, el objetivo ahorita es usar you should. Yes. Uh, you, you, mm -hmm. you, you should. Uh -huh. um, you should la calaca. You should go to la calaca. You should, you should go to la calaca. That's it. They're very good. That's it. Maritza. Maritza, Hi. tell me a problem. Um, well, uh, no, listen to this. Maritza, what movies do you like? Um, Romantic um, movies, action movies? Um, I like, uh, yes, a romantic movie, a romantic movie for them. Oh, then you, and, should, you should watch Pretty Woman. Uh, and two action movies. Okay, so you like romantic movies, correct? Yes. You should watch The Notebook. Uh, excuse me, um, repeat, please. Yes, you should watch The Notebook. Um, I should... Uh, Le no, 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 listen to me. You should I watch... Should... Marita, please. Okay. You like romantic movies, correct? Yes. Okay, good. Now, I am recommending to you, okay. you should watch Pretty Woman. Uh, yes, it's a good movie. Very good. You should watch you should, a ghost. You should uh, No, Maritza, es que no, no está entendiendo. Okay. Estamos en una conversación. Usted me dice que le gusta la... Las películas románticas. Yo solo las estoy recomendando, la, la que debería ah, de ver. ¿Qué está entendiendo usted que yo le estoy diciendo? Ah, entendí que me preguntaba cuál le podía recomendar. No, ah, no. Okay. No, because, you see, yeah, okay. Uh, recuerden que es, si no entienden la pregunta, nunca van a responder bien la, la redundancia, la respuesta. Yes. Vamos a empezar otra vez. Maritza, what movies okay. do you like? Uh, I like romantic movies. Very good. You should watch Pretty Woman. Uh, okay, thank you. Excellent. There you go. Very good. You see, when you listen, pay attention, listen. Comprehension is very, very important. Okay. Thank you. That was very good. Catherine. Hi, teacher. Hi. What what food do you like? Um I food do you like? Um I food do you like? What? One time, one more time. Catherine, what food do you like? Um uh, you should no Catherine where do you live I live uh, at the city very good where do you work I work in Export Salva okay what food do you like I I like I like food um meat very good so I like meat repeat I like meat excellent hmm. you should go to Lomo y Aguja okay it's good um, very good no, it's so yeah, it's just a conversation. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Isaac. You. You're welcome. What music do you like? I like pop music, Isaac. Pop music? Yes. In English or Spanish? English. Okay. You should listen to Coldplay. 
Thank you. It's my favorite single. Music band, please. Okay, Sorry. it's your favorite. No, no, it's okay. No problem. It's your favorite band. All right, good. Okay. Adele. Hmm. Hello. Hello, Adele. Hello. Let me see. Let me see. Do you read, Adele? No, I don't like read. You don't like to read? I don't like to read. You should read. It's very, it's very nice. Okay, thank you. I try. I will try. <laughs> yeah, you should read Don Quixote. Don Quixote, okay. He's my favorite, look. Okay, thank you. I have a Don Quixote. Yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> Ok, entonces miren, cuando decimos you should, you should es dar una sugerencia. Esto se, eso es algo que se da muy a menudo. A veces usted uno está en el trabajo y alguien tiene sueño. Ay, yo no aguanto el sueño. Debería de tomar café. You should, you should drink some coffee. Um, híjole. Yo no aguanto, siempre vengo tarde. Debería de salir más temprano. You, should, you know, things very simple. Don't complicate. Yes, pero por hoy, por hoy sí les recomiendo. Listen. Listen, porque a muchos les repetí. Y it's okay, está bien. Pero a muchos les repetí como tres o cuatro veces la pregunta. Y a tal grado que se repetía por palabra. It's good. ¿Me entendieron? Pero recuerden que no, la gente, cuando piensan que la gente afuera les va a hablar de un solo rápido, entonces empiecen a desarrollar el oído. Porque bien, bien les prometo que afuera nadie les va a hablar. Hello, what is your name? Where do you live? Oh, good. No, toda la gente va a hablar. Hi, what's your name? Where do you live? Oh, good for you. Oh, really? You like pizza? Oh, man, you should eat pizza Italia. It's very good. You know, and that's how you make the conversation. Okay? Okay. Yes, okay. Thank you. All right. So that's yeah. when we use should. Who is from San Miguel here? Isaac, right? Yeah, teacher. Isaac, can you recommend your classmates a good place in San Miguel? Um, they should visit the El Capulín um, in Moncagua City. El Capulín in Moncagua. Oh, no, interesting. Yes. All right, very good. Capulín. No eso nunca lo vi. Interesting. Es muy hermoso. Normalmente lo, lo conocen como las cuevas de Moncagua. Búsquelo en internet y se va a enamorar. Oh, okay, good. Oh, thank you. All right, so, ya lo voy a notar. Las cuevas de Moncagua. Thank you. Hey, that's interesting. Who is from Santa Ana? Somebody here is from Santa Ana, no? Okay, no, nobody from Santa Ana. Okay, let's let's look at the other video. You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Those are called modal verbs. Model verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. 
Okay, we'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus modal verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus verb plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus not plus verb plus complement. We shouldn't go to a museum. It is important to notice that models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Did you notice? There's no change on should and neither on the main verb go. Okay, so this is how we use it in a negative sentence. So it's very simple. You should, you should, you should. Negative, you should not, you should not, you should not. Laura, are you there? Yes. Okay, I see that in the picture you are with your son. Yes. What do you recommend your son not to do? Um, I recommend... Or I tell him he should not... I told him he should not... Mm. Wow. wow, no le recomiendan a su hijo. Yo puedo pensar ahorita en mil cosas. I tell my son, you should not hit women. You should not put your hand outside the car. You should not open the door. Many in this things. moment, uh, don't play with the um, ventilador, ¿cómo se dice? Play with the fan. Play with the fan, yeah. Pero yo creo que más que todo no jugar, sino que tocar, ¿no? <laughs> ah, yeah. Look, um, por la situación estaba jugando. <laughs> estaba really? jugando por ahí. Yeah. Es, acaba de suceder hace un momentito, entonces. Es oh. como, como quererle dar la vuelta al, al, al ventilador con los deditos. Oh my God, that's no. Yes. Yo era un pedazo de papel y lo hice recto. Y le dije a mi hijo, vaya, mira. Y lo metí al ventilador. Te lo enseñé. Uh -huh. Vaya, dame tu dedo, mete. No, no, no. Te lo prometo que cuando vea el ventilador hasta se va alrededor de él, no, lo, no se le acerca. <risa> Entonces, <risa> ya me siento. Ya, yeah, si no, mete el dedo, mete el dedo. No, 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 mete el dedo. No, no, ok. Problem solved. Okay. No Arely, Arely, you're a teacher. Yes, I am. Please recommend us mothers and fathers what should we do and what should we not do. One should and one should not. Okay, you should support your kids all the time with their homeworks. Okay. With their problems or difficult, I don't know. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't uh, say negative words, like uh, you can't do something, you are not good or something like that. You okay. have to, you, have, you should, you, you should say positive words every time that you can, as you can. Thank you. That was very, very good. So remember, you should teach 
your children positive words. Barcelona. Barça. Visca Barça. You know, positive words. Yes. No, not just this kind of, of words. Okay. <laughs> just Metallica. Positive. Met but, no, I don't know. Moti mot Motivational. Yes. Motivational words. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 I was joking. Yes, I understand. That's very important, right? And we shouldn't, we shouldn't, what? What was your example? You shouldn't say negative words, like you can't do anything. Okay. One thing too, I think that you shouldn't lie to kids, to children, right? I'm sorry? You shouldn't lie to children. Yes. No deberían de mentirle a los niños. Yes. I think, yeah, that, that's something very important because they remember. Yes. <laughs> okay, class, listen, um, we need to practice comprehension, really. I don't know what happened today. Maybe it's Monday, but it's good. Pero sabe que nadie me hizo una pregunta hoy. O nadie me dijo, o no sé, creo que una persona. I don't understand. Pero me dijeron hasta cuando les tocó. <laughs> Entonces, el problema no es que no entiendan. It's okay. El pro... Ya estoy arrojona. <laughs> el problema no es que no entiendan. El problema es que no me preguntan. <laughs> y ya voy a notar eso. Arjona no, 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 no dijo eso en la canción. Huh? <laughs> voy a sacar un meme de un teacher. El problema no es que no entiendan. Problemas es que no preguntan. <laughs> okay, so, yo les recomiendo mucho hoy. Please pay attention. No sé si. Yo sé que virtual es bien difícil porque. Yo sé que aunque estén viendo la clase, tienen cosas a su alrededor. Puede que tengan algún hijo jugando, puede que al fondo esté una tele encendida, pero tienen distracciones y es bien difícil. Entonces, la única forma es como hagan todo lo que puedan y enfóquense bastante en la clase porque se hicieron cuenta hoy las preguntas se repetían, se repetían, pero es de poner más atención. Porque yo siento, sentí esto hoy como. Yeah, I'm sorry, what? What? Obviamente no estaban poniendo atención en la clase, aunque estaban presentes. Pero eso, eso no se preocupen, le pasa a todas las clases virtuales. No debería, it shouldn't. Porque eso es, o sea, mire, tienen una ventaja que están en su casa. Yo, y se están ahorrando el tiempo de ir a, al presencial, el tráfico, el tiempo. Yo sé que están en su casa, están cómodos, han trabajado, pero solo hagan ese poquito esfuerzo de, de poner atención en la clase y fácil. Okay, entonces, remember, and is to connect two negatives or two positives. However, and though, is to connect one negative and one positive, but only at the end. Um, for example, women. Muchas mucha mujeres dicen, oh man, Ricky Martin is so handsome. He's gay though. Y lo dicen con dolor porque, ah, que lástima, a él no le gustan las mujeres. O sea, ¿me entienden? No, sin ofender, pero así dicen mucho, oh, wow, ese hombre es bien guapo. Pero gay. Okay. O sea, el pero no, no es que sea malo que sea gay, sí. sino que lástima que... <ríe> Él no siente lo mismo por el sexo de ustedes. ¿Me entienden? Eso sentimos los hombres pero, también. Pero yo trataría de hacerlo. 
<risa> yeah, me imagino. Mi esposa dice, oh, man. Mi esposa está tramada con él. Uh, yeah, so, you know. Um, that, that's a good example. So, but is to connect one, one positive and one negative. But is to connect one positive and one negative. El Salvador is beautiful, but it's hot. Always. Ay, le voy a dar una recomendación también que, y esto lo hablamos mal en español. El Salvador no tiene invierno. Hasta la noticia lo dicen. Ya viene el invierno. No. <ríe> Recuerden que Salvador es, y, eh, es tropical. Es clima trópico. Entonces solo tenemos dos temporadas. Lluvia y seca. Entonces nosotros confundimos mucho que lluvia es invierno. Entonces si usted le dicen a alguien que no ha venido a El Salvador. Y le dicen, hey, I'm going to El Salvador in this moment. How, ¿Cómo está El Salvador en este momento? Oh, estamos en invierno. Esa pobre persona va a venir con una maleta llena de chumpas. Y suéteres y todo. Porque cuando si analizamos bien, invierno es un equivalente a cold. Yes. Entonces, how is El Salvador? Oh, it's raining in this moment. O wet season. Temporada mojada. Ok, class. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.